Hello guys, welcome to a new video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to optimize your computer for you know better performance and just get better FPS in gaming and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, basically uh, this will just show you a bunch of tweaks you can do to speed up your PC and some of the tweaks you do you might be impressed with how much uh, your PC, you know, how fast your uh, PC becomes. If you guys enjoy this video then make sure to leave a like and subscribe, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers that mean the world to me and uh, let's get right into the video. So we're gonna start off with this thing called temporary files. There's a lot of them on your PC that you probably don't need so what we're gonna do is you're gonna press the Windows key and R at the same time and this will open up a little run uh, window here and you want to type in percent temp percent just like that and click OK. So you'll see all of these files right so what you want to do with all these is you're going to click on one file and then you're going to press Control A and just delete them all. This won't cause any harm to your system. Um, just delete them all. Some you won't be able to delete, but just delete most of them. Next tip uh, I'm going to get, give you guys is actually in the Windows settings. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your Windows settings right here. And what you want to do is you want to go to gaming. And you want to disable this Xbox Game Par thingy. You also want to disable game mode. You may think that like game mode will increase your performance, but it actually does the opposite. Um, so we just recommend turn game mode off. You'll get better performance without it. And game bar is just a bottleneck pretty much. The next thing we're going to do, uh, follow what I do. Go to the search bar and type in system Click here. And uh, you should get to this little uh program that uh, shows you about your system uh, but actually you want to click here advanced system settings and you want to click on performance here and click settings now what's probably going to be on by default is this thing let windows choose what's best for my computer now this involves like turning on literally everything which is just stuff you don't need so let me just turn it on for a second you see like that's a few shadows here and there which are just aren't needed so what i recommend doing is this And as you can see, pretty much it looks the exact same. You'll just be getting a better performance, which is pretty cool. Next thing we're gonna do, you're gonna go to your control panel here. So type in the control panel and open it up. What you wanna do here is you're going to type in the top bar up here and type power. You'll get this uh, power options thing. Click on it. Now it's probably most likely going to be on balance by default. What I recommend for you guys to do is to switch it over to high performance. If you don't see it, then click here and it should definitely be here and you should see high performance, right? So make sure to select this. This will use more energy if you're using a laptop, but if you're on the desktop computer, definitely enable this. It's it's going to be good. If you're on an uh, NVIDIA GPU, uh, this will definitely help you. Uh, you're going to right click on your desktop and you'll see this little thing and video control panel just gonna open up here and uh, you get this little window here now what the NVIDIA control panel basically is is it lets you change like you know how well the graphics look and everything and like how it performs and everything what you want to do here is you're gonna click on the manage 3d settings here and go to global settings you want to scroll down and you'll see power management mode Set this to prefer maximum performance. It's probably going to be an optimal power. So just set it to prefer maximum performance. And on this texture filter and quality thing, select that to high performance as well. Another little tweak you can do for you NVIDIA users. If you go and download GeForce Experience, I'll leave a link to download it in the description. Once you have it, you can basically um, get your get the latest drivers and uh, run the newest games, you know, with no issues. That's basically it for this video. If you guys found this video helpful and this video is, and this helped you to speed up your computer, then I'd appreciate a subscription and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.